Hit in only three other states have surpassed more than 70 percent of adults 18 and older getting at least one dose of their vaccine. Angelo Bavaro with the Fox 61 vaccine team explains what more Connecticut needs to do as the state gets ready to roll back restrictions once again. We are just about a week away from all business restrictions being lifted here in Connecticut, save for masking in some places. And health experts and state leaders say these high vaccination numbers that we are seeing are just more reasons that the state is ready to take another major step forward. Students at Central Connecticut State University checking off another item on their to-do list during finals week, getting their COVID vaccines. I want to make sure next semester I'm going to be able to be on campus and actually get the college experience, you know, especially being a freshman. Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz visiting the on-campus clinic and applauding the months-long efforts across the state that have contributed to more than 70% of adults receiving at least one dose of a vaccine. There are vaccine clinics going on all over the state, but the very successful ones are the mass vaccination sites. The latest benchmark put in Connecticut two months ahead of President Biden's national goal. I'm going to be honest with you, we're here much quicker than I thought we would be. Senior System Director for Infection Prevention at Hartford Healthcare, Keith Grant, says reaching that 70% mark means a safer community. We know, you know, I know it's just a, a number itself, but we know the significance um, from a reduction in actual spread and community presence of the disease. Now the work continues to get those numbers even higher. Our goal is to get between 70 and 85 percent of our population fully vaccinated because that is the benchmark for herd immunity. The state continuing to focus on getting shots into the arms of younger people. Those between uh, 16 and 25, 42 percent of people in the, that age group has gotten at least one shot. So that's good. But that is the lowest vaccinated group. Reporting in New Britain, Angelo Bavaro. Fox 61 News.